Okay, today on Karate Customs, we're going to be doing something different. This is a, a steering wheel. Inside of it comes with, it's going to be a horn button. But here's the part I'm kind of jazzed about. Nice wood grain, polished. This kind of reminds me, I mean, it's kind of a, it's kind of a stretch here. Work with me. But this kind of reminds me of the 64 GTO four spoke wood wheel. So I was like, yeah, I'll get a modern updated high performance version. It'd be cool. So we're going to install it. Before I go too far, I want to get a few measurements. So my stick out is roughly about seven, half, seven, three quarter inches. So kind of give me an idea. And then the factory rim is just about 15 inches. So we can compare it to what we're going to be working with. Okay, so in this instance, tools that we need are going to be a three-quarter, yeah, three-quarter inch uh, socket. You can use three-eighths drive with a long extension. Um, you're going to need a regular screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. So let me get started here. So to begin, down here on the bottom, there's a little channel. You take your regular screwdriver. Get in here, you pry, and this comes off. It's just held in by these two springs right here, and they fit in these grooves. So we'll take that off. Put it right there. Then, two, three Phillips screws and the horn comes off. The horn ring, I should say. Now for the fun part. And as you can see, this thing's pretty, it's pretty broken up, cracked up. I mean, this can be recast and everything, but I'm not going to use it. So I'll pass it on to somebody who might be interested. Uh, and just crack that loose, just like that. So we have the nut, the washer. We're gonna retain those for later. We've got this isolation ring here. Yeah, your little turn signal ring. Okay, now you'll notice right here, this is the horn contact, and you'll notice that it's at about eh, 10, almost 11 o'clock position, and my wheels are pointing straight ahead, and this is horizontal. This is about where I wanna go. There's a little tiny, there's a little tiny line right here. That means that the steering wheel's pointed up, everything. That keeps everything straight in alignment so you don't end up with the steering wheel that's cockeyed or something, so. Okay, just to give you an idea, this is the line I'm talking about right here. So right at the very top at the 12 o'clock position. And over here, oops, that's your steering wheel contact. Okay, now at this point, I need to go retrieve my steering wheel puller. I've hooked up my steering wheel puller. I've got three bolts, or actually they're, they're machine screws. They're 10 30 seconds, same as the screws that I removed. Um, I was only able to find two inch ones at the local hardware store, so I made them work. I, three inch would be ideal. You can get a lot more thread engagement, but here we go. That, hopefully, that just did the trick, I hope. Yep. <laughs> sure enough. All right. And we're off. Okay. So I started playing around with things. And when I took off this horn contact here, the first thing I noticed was it burned. That's not good. Um, or at least it appears to be burned. So I looked underneath here. Some of the contact right down here is gone. I was like, okay. So then I started looking more closely and yes indeed it appears that maybe something shorted so i'm going to go ahead and finish installing the video i'll put stuff back together i'm going to have to order another turn signal switch and um now i'll make another video on how to install that on playing with this further i uh 
I can see that right here, that's a contact. This was actually broken. So I moved it back over here where it goes. And then you'll notice that down here, oops, there we are. This is the arm for resetting. It's missing up there. Mm -hmm. Found that broken off down the side there. So yeah, I definitely got to order another turn signal okay, switch. So I pull out my Ames catalog for the GTO Tempest Le Mans. And what do we got here? Uh, here we go. Directional turn signal switches and 64 to 66, all without tilt. Manual, 95 bucks. And I look down here and the canceling cam and 64 to 66. Without it, it's 34 okay, So let's go over a few things that are included in our adapter kit. Okay, we're gonna start off with, up here we have, these are the trim collars that go at the very bottom. Um, as you can see, the one on the right hand side is smaller. It's a fair amount smaller than the one on the left. So this is gonna be for the earlier columns like I have. This is our actual column adapter. It's threaded if you look in there. Up here, this is our adapter that it, it's either a five or six bolt pattern, depending on what you have. These are the bolts that go through here, bolted to here. We're not gonna be installing this right now. This is, the horn, well, we'll put it in place, but it's the horn button, it's not gonna be hooked up. Same with, um, this is the plunger for the horns. This is the negative side for the horns. Since uh, I'm having a problem with the switch, that's gonna be installed. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and install everything. I think I'll probably just film it in high speed and show you what I'm doing. It was at this point that I was admiring it and getting ready to put on the center cap, and that's when I realized that, boom, the center cap has recessed screws. That's what this other mounting kit and hardware was for. So allow me to switch this out, and we'll take a look at it again. Okay, so... Overall, I'm really enjoying how it came out. This wheel is thick, it's beautiful. It's got great feel in the hands. The one thing I don't care for is this clearance right here. It's barely a finger width. So what I'm thinking is, since the chrome is bad on this, I may just end up heating it and bending it backwards a little bit. Um, I can either re-chrome it, or at some point I'm gonna put a tilt column in it anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But overall, um, I highly recommend these things. This is, the wheel feels great. It's just, it feels like a really quality piece. So give it a big thumbs up. This will give you another view on the right-hand side. You can see the turn signal, how close it is to the steering wheel. So I need a little bit of room there. On the other side where the shift lever is, there's lots of room. I mean, right now it doesn't matter. It was a three on the tree and I'm just using it temporarily to shift an automatic, but it's going back to a floor shift manual. So that won't matter anyways. But overall, um, I like it. Um, the wheel's nice, thick. The parts look nice. Um, yeah, so I'd, I'd highly recommend it. All right, thanks a lot.